Just looking through the skyline To the diamonds in her eyes well, This lonely world can be so two other questions from our subscribers so I guess I could go ahead and answer those this one says I love this house but I don't love them all and I'm with you the cabinet stain is my favorite this was a particular mobile home tour she says I noticed most of the houses have the same flooring are there options on the flooring that's the first question yes there are options if you are ordering your home you don't have to get the color flooring or even say for instance the house has carpet in some rooms and um the high grade laminate or hardwood in other areas you can discuss with the home center if you want all hardwood or laminate or all carpet or a different color carpet or a different color flooring Maybe you like everything about the inside of the house, but you don't like the roof color. Um, the shutters are black and you want a black tin roof instead of the shingles. You can change all of that. You don't like the color of the house, but you love the house. You can change all of that. There are so many options when you're ordering the home that you can basically um, take that design and change the col colors totally. So work with a home center representative um, about what changes you like to make and they will let you know if those are possible um i can tell you stuff like um wall coloring flooring coloring carpet coloring yes or no to carpet etc you can make those decisions but when it comes to adding on like extra square feet or 
changing the complete shape of a room, then that's something that they'll have to let you know what whether it can be approved or not. So that's the answer to that question. The uh, This subscriber says, also I've seen other people's videos where they have a base price. Is that something you could possibly do? I've gotten that question a lot. And what I realized is maybe you didn't watch the whole video or maybe you didn't read the description and that's okay. I do it sometimes too. I, I, I see that oh, I don't really care for this house or I think I've seen enough or I talk a lot. So maybe I've talked too much, right? And um, you've skipped on and just asked your question and went on to another video or came out of YouTube completely. It's quite all right. But for these Wayne Fryer, if you've watched any of my Clayton Holmes videos, the prices are either in the video or in the description box. The only other tours that I've posted so far are from Wayne Fryer Homes in Byron, Georgia. They're the Live Oak Homes. Live Oak or and Wayne Fryer Home. Well, I can only speak for Wayne Fryer Homes because it's the only Live Oak Home Center that I've been to. It is their policy that they don't post prices. The prices are not posted inside the homes. They're not posted on the website unless it's a sale home, right? So if you are interested in pricing, the, the home center's information to include address, phone number, website address, and manager's name is in the description box of every Live Oak home that I've toured. And I'll continue to put it in the description box. If I don't post the price, it's because they don't post the price. Any other homes that I've toured do have the prices. So I know that's an inconvenience. This company wants to speak to their customers. They want to answer your questions. Maybe the price of the home is a hundred thousand, but they have a special going on or they can make you a deal or whatever the case, but they don't post prices. They want to talk to their customers. So if you're interested in one of those live Oak homes, Please check the description box because the information to contact that home center is in the description box or you can Google Live Oak Homes and find one near you if it's not in Georgia because that one's in Byron, Georgia and they have some in different areas. So um, yeah, I do apologize. I don't post prices simply because I don't have them. So I'm, I'm so sorry about that. I. When I'm looking at those home tours, I'm interested in how much it is too, but this company just doesn't allow posting of prices. All right, next question. Oh, let's see. And I actually just got through responding to this question um, in the comments, but I'm gonna ask it for the sake of other people. She had um, three questions. Question number one, can you bring your own financing when buying a home? That would really have to be answered by the home center that you're dealing with. I know when I went into Clayton Homes, they had five that they personally personally use and we applied to all of them to get, a, or we rep replied to the ones that, that fit my category um, for approval. If you've already been approved, like say your bank or another financial institution, that would be the first thing that I discuss with the home center. So say for instance, you're interested in a Clayton Homes and there's a Clayton Homes near you. I would call just to see if that was a possibility before I even went in. Um, you may have to be um, approved by one of their people or they may say, oh great, you're already approved, let's get you in a house. But I can't make that call. and. And even if I knew that about who I dealt with, Clayton Homes, Live Oak Homes, uh, uh, Palm Harbor Homes, all of these different places are different. They do things different, differently. Say for instance, like with prices, right? Some people post prices, some people don't. So I would definitely talk to whoever I'm interested in getting a home from and, and let them answer that question. But that is a great question. That's something that a lot of people want to know the answer to personally because I don't sell homes or I don't work for one of those places. I wouldn't even feel comfortable trying to tell you what's right or what's wrong about that. So not what's right or what's wrong, but if it, if, if it could be done or not. So 
Two, the Clayton Homes here has bad reviews from people on the BBB, um, Better Business Bureau, and other websites. Have you heard of others with the bad experiences? Yes. I've heard of people with bad experiences. I've heard of people with great experiences. I personally had a really good experience with the people that I dealt with. Have I had issues in my home? Absolutely. Have they fixed them? Yes, they have. Um, so I, and also working for Amazon, as I talked about earlier, knowing what a great company it is, but also knowing that with any retail business, there are going to be some complaints. I would consider those reviews, but I would also go and talk to and fill out the company that I'm interested in working with and how they do things. And you can also ask them, and this was a suggestion that I made to you in the comment box, was asked to maybe communicate or speak to some real life customers, right? People that are, um, because it, my Clayton Homes would probably refer somebody to talk to me because we build a great relationship and because they know that with this YouTube channel, I'm going to be honest. So I'm sure they have some customers that don't mind sharing with you what their experience has been. To me, that is the best review. People that I could actually talk to and um, find out what their experience was. And if they're not willing to put you in touch with somebody or put somebody in touch with you, or if you can't go in there, sometimes I go in and they're existing customers that are in there for one reason or another. And I can say, hey, did you already buy your home? What was your experience? That's what I would do. I would actually try to seek out some people that have dealt with that Clayton Homes, if possible, to see what their experience has been like. Because with any retail, there are going to be complaints, right? Doesn't mean you're going to have a bad experience. And some people have had some horrible experiences, but some people have had some really good experiences too. So, you know, that's a hard thing to say. I can't say don't deal with them um, because I've heard a lot of th negative things about Clayton Homes. I've heard a lot of negative things about a lot of these places. Some of them are by people who've heard of other people having experiences and sharing them like it was theirs. Some of them are people that <clears throat> were not being realistic in their expectations. And some of them genuinely had a horrible experience. But there are some that had really great experiences from the same home centers that the people that had bad experiences. So, you know, that's a tough call. Just do your research. Do as much research as you can. Check out all your possibilities. There may be other people in your area um, besides Clayton Homes that you could check into and look at their reviews as well. All right, and then the third question is, can you do a video on the extras, not the price of the home? Example like land clearing, moving the homes, connecting utilities and other things. So actually I responded to you in the comments. I have um, a two part series, five steps to buying a mobile home, part one and part two. If you look under my manufactured home, if, if for some reason a link that I put in your comments doesn't work, or if you're somebody else that's interested in reviewing those videos, if you look under my playlist under manufactured homes, it's five steps to buying a manufactured home or a mobile home. Let me tell you the exact, um, five steps to mobile home buying part one and part two, um, where I talk about all of those things and I even go over all of the costs at my closing. Um, I also have, um, videos about, um, the setup and delivery, raw footage of our mobile home being delivered, permanent mobile home foundation video, just a lot of great stuff. So look through my playlist, go to my channel and look through my channels. There's a lot of great information there. And then if you can't find what you're looking for, let me know and I'll be more than happy to answer any of those questions. It's just that I've already posted those types of videos. So, and I really go into detail because I talk a lot. You see, I'm rambling now. So, um, take a look at those videos and then uh, my email address is in the description box. If you have more questions, you can either put them in the comment section or feel free to email me, okay? 
All right, next question. Do you have two mortgages for the home and land, meaning two separate bills? No. We did a land home package. That's where they got the contract together for the land. They got the contract together for the home, rolled it into one closing under one contract. End result is we have one mortgage. Our mortgage is 11-11-58, and that covers our home and our land in one bill, okay? Um, so yeah, we didn't have two separate bills. Now that can happen. With the my first double wide, we bought the home from Fantasy Homes, and then someone at Fantasy Homes had property. We bought the land from them, so we ended up paying a little over two hundred for the land in one bill, and like four seventy six for the home in another bill. But if you're doing a land home package, and and, and we had a realtor that found us the land. We got the home from Clayton Homes, and they worked together to put it in one closing, right? We, if we had had two closings, then we would have had two separate mortgages, a mortgage for the land and one for the home. But because they worked together, did a land home package, which Clayton Homes um, will do, then we have one bill. And then you also said, did Clayton sell you the land, or did you go to a separate real estate agent. So Clayton didn't have land. I think they did have some possibilities in Opelika, Alabama, where they are, but we're in, here in Henry County in Georgia. And so we had to get a realtor to help us find land. We actually got approved for the house first. And they said, go get the land. We'll put them together. So we got to started looking for land, got in touch with the realtor, um, that owned property in this community that we were looking at. We actually got our second pick and not our first one. I'm so happy that we went for this one because it's, number one, a bigger property. And number two, somebody went under contract the week that we were going to go look at the home. It went under contract, and it still hasn't sold. So I don't know what's going on with that land, but we would have been really disappointed if we had a, went after that land, somebody had a bid on this one, and they would have been moved in, and we would have still been under contract. So, So all things worked out for us. Um, we prayed about it. It worked out just how it was supposed to work out. We got on the property that we were supposed to get on. So that was a plus. All right. Now, I think I did have one more question. So let's see what that is. I'm going to put this in another video because this is a, a big topic. So that was it, you guys. That was all that I had today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that um, you enjoyed um, the questions that we were, the other questions that we were able to answer. I appreciate each and every one of you. Please don't pay attention to the clothes that you see on either side of me. I'm doing laundry. And as you know from any of my videos, there's always a pile of laundry around me. I'm going to fold this stuff and then I'm going to go to bed. So thank you so much for watching. Have a good night. See you in the next video.